Good morning, guys. Um, I'm just going to do a little uh, live feed around the 7-7 uh, uh, transmission that's coming through on uh, Friday. I'm just going to add this to a couple of groups. Give me one second. There you guys. So, uh, can you just let me know that you can hear me okay and see this video? Yeah. Before I get going. Uh, just give me a shout out. Um, I'm coming to you from uh, Cairns in far north Queensland, Australia. Uh, here for been here for nearly a week now. Uh, we'll be here for uh, the 77 portal on Friday and um, then back uh, to sunny coast, uh, Perugian Beach. Yeah. So, hey Tani. So, uh, I just really wanted to um, do a little bit of a blurb, a chit chat, tune in, channeling around the 77 portal. There's a lot of buzz uh, around it. Um, and really just, uh, I was uh, sitting this morning and um, was given the words revolutionary, revolutionary change. Um, so I just really wanted to talk to that uh, for a moment or two. Uh, in regards to moving forward, I feel, um, uh, I think the full moon and the time lagging after that this week has been quite... Uh, powerful for people, quite potent. Um, people have been feeling a lot of uh, movements internally, sometimes discomfort, sometimes um, emotional, that kind of jazz. Yeah. Um, we have and are um, uh, moving into a new octave of energy. Uh, it, it, it is continual and it is layered on top of layers. Um, and I think Spirit was talking to me about revolutionary change in regards to us really doing a big integration piece prior to um, the 8-8 uh, Lionsgate in August. So this 7-7 um, portal, you know, 7-7 uh, um, portal is all around um, mastery, you know, the mastery of self. Uh, the master, uh, but this is, I feel, also related to revolutionary change in different timelines, and timelines where there has been an overturning of um, the people versus the the rulers, if you will, uh, in different timelines. Especially, I feel this is related to um, Egypt because we are slap bang in the middle of the Syrian uh, portal right now. So I feel that um, we're going through this kind of merging of our energy and reclaiming of our, I guess, essence or, or soul power from uh, the Egyptian timeline right now. Uh, obviously linked with Star Sirius and the Lion people, so that could be uh, Lyra or, or, or the Syrian beings. So there's a lot of the Lyran frequency right now and the Syrian frequency I feel in our energy fields. But this is also inviting us to really clear and come back to ourselves and have a revolutionary change within ourselves, a change of heart. And this comes from uh, moving out of the place of feeling um, victimized or done to or like we can't move forward or our old habits have hamstrung us into feeling like um, uh, we really believe that narrative of ourselves and that and, and that then it's not so um, easy to move forward in the world at this point in time and this is a revolutionary change that starts within I feel a revolutionary change by accessing and neutralizing the Egyptian timeline um, so that 
could because I feel like at this time in Egypt there was a, an overturning of the 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 um, kings and the queens if you will by the people and we are to to sort of go through this ourselves in our energy field this week and I think that's why many have felt almost like an internal battle going on an internal um, warring or um, parts of us antagonistic with each other and this is because we are moving towards less polarization more more um, more neutralization within so that that can be a collective field experience but of course in the process of that we have to keep going through these um, bumps and um, eruptions and um, I guess uh, awarenesses and reclaiming aspects of ourselves from the uh, uh, multi-dimensional uh, te template w which is sort of going on in all these different realms where we are gradually bringing everything back into the neutral point yeah so we're gradually bringing everything back from all these different timelines of our soul extensions into the now into the physical vessel and reclaiming our power so this is another reclaiming node or, or uh, point within the year where we can um, reclaim an aspect of us selves and this revolutionary um, energy was is going to uh, I feel uh, open us to very much uh, new ways of thinking and I wouldn't be surprised following this event if there's uh, energy of um, new inspiration uh, new uh, sparking of thought and and that may be within or that may be in with with what comes forward in the um, collective field or even new um, technologies or new thoughts that are coming out into the collective field so this is a preparation for the 8-8 this is a um, a big energy shift I feel so um, I did want to talk about that because it feels really important to know that just to remind yourselves if you have been feeling out of sorts this week that it is part of the um, deep um, releasing of the density and the purging out of an old timeline uh, or several timelines really um, so that we can come back into a new truth and a new alignment within so this is a, a, a topsy-turvy time where we can um, feel a little off center because we are calling in aspects of ourselves that have different frequencies and different um, uh, different um, different energies. Yes, Julie, the, your necklace does feel uh, related to Egypt, and I think it's a great thing because I think you're freeing yourself from. Um, something uh, that that's kicked off in that timeline for you and I feel like it's around your relationship um, dare I say with family <laughs> for you so I think something new and something more powerful is coming for you yeah coming for you and I just want to say thank you Heather for your support the last few days as I've also been going through quite a lot um, blessings to you you beautiful lady so I did wake up feeling a little freer and a little bit like um, a piece of work is anchored in ready for the 7-7. Seven, seven, yeah? So I will be doing that uh, portal uh, group activation. Um, uh, f primarily focused, I feel, on um, uh, the Egyptian timeline, but who knows what will arise within the context of this group. Last year when I was here in Cairns, it was very focused on the a Trinity Goddess transmission and when working with the feminine. This feels a little... Um, uh, a little different this time. I'm sure we'll still be working with the feminine energy because there's such a beautiful connection to Lemuria in this area, as you can see from the uh, beautiful vegetation. It's a very uh, special place, uh, Cairns. So um, I'm sure it will be a powerful transmission. Um, I'm going to be working here in the um, the Airbnb that I'm staying at. Um, we'll be doing that event 6.15 p.m. Um, tomorrow night. Um, I'll pop, pop the link below if you want to join. If you know anybody, any friends, family, or connections of tribe that may want to uh, tune into that event live uh, in Cairns uh, tomorrow evening, 6.15 p.m., start in Macon Speech, um, I would really invite you to uh, let them know about this event, tell them to um, 
shoot me a message. I'm not really advertising the location so much. Um, tell people who really want to come. So, um, hope you can join me for that one. It feels like a big one. It feels like it's been a revolutionary week, yeah? A revolutionary week of releasing and integrating energies. Um, the full moon on the weekend and now the 777 portal. And walk, working also very much with the crown chakra tomorrow, I feel. You know, we've been doing a lot of releasing of density so that we can open more to the higher uh, aspects of ourselves. So I feel like we're going to be also working um, on the crown chakra, the seventh chakra, uh, in the 77 portal, uh, opening that linkage, that real pure source connection of our channel, our conduit from the, the crown all the way up through the astral chakras to source consciousness so that there is no doubt left within you around what you are bringing through for yourself and the collective. Because there's so much, um, mm, there is so much doubt and fear and sort of what is the truth right now because the timelines are merging shifting and changing there is a mm, there's a blowout effect a bleed through effect of different frequencies that are kind of getting people to uh, fracture getting people to fracture tribes uh, cohorts what they believed was true what was um and, and seeing with a, a clearer context. But also this brings up a lot of self-doubt in people because what they thought they were going along believing was their truth is shifting because they're getting a bigger context, a bigger picture of their personal truth through their subconscious awakening, but also through this, uh, then seeing it uh, really represented externally where things that they thought were going to manifest or teachers or, 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 or political systems that they were aligned with are sort of um, letting them down or, or, or not coming through with the goods, if you will. And this is just, yes, another stage of the unraveling, the melting of the old ways, the old structures, so that we can uh, move into a more aligned, um, spiritually aware um, collective. So this, uh, this connection to the crown in, in, this, in the lion aspect, yes, in the lion energies that are coming through from Sirius is really wanting us to step into our lion hearts, our courage, and to believe our truth, not to meander around in self-doubt, you know, because there's so much um, that could knock us off our centers right now in the world. And that self-doubt is um, part of the awakening process so that we do find a strong center. And so tomorrow night I feel we'll be anchoring in that crown chakra to our source point so that we may feel really connected and kind of really mm, comfortable in our energy and our knowledge and our truth. You know, so many of us were kind of um, distorted and lost faith and hope in Egypt because of the the dissolution and the distortions and the corruptions of the mystery schools and the the um, I, I would say the de the destruction of the feminine really and and the innocence of the child a lot of that started within the um, the ritual practices of Egypt yeah before obviously paralleling to the galactic um, breeding programs but you know a lot of this came through in the physical in Egypt so we are trying to deal, dissolve some of this this heartache this this grief this fear of stepping into the new the powerful beings that we are our magic we are many of us have many alchemical codes to transmit this lifetime and we are fearful to do that at a deep sub a subconscious level because we do not want to do harm or we do not want to see the, the destruction and the, the pain that was caused in the mystery schools. Yeah. So paralleling similar to um, the, uh, the wounding of uh, Atlantis. Yeah. But um, this is big. Yeah. This is revolutionary. This is a revolutionary shift in integration phase we're in. So I would like to uh, invite you to join me on Friday to 
to be with me in ceremony, whether you're in Cairns in person or whether you're online, wherever you are in the world, this feels a biggie. Um, and I think a powerful change. Even if you don't feel to be with me in the group, just sit in, in, in meditation sometime tomorrow and uh, bring through the energies and let them flow into you and allow you comfort and uh, really anchor in your master codex, your market master, ma anchoring in your master codex of light so that you may feel the truth of who you are and the confidence in that, the confidence to move forward uh, in your own truth, even if that does not um, resonate with others, you know. We're all on our own individual path. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in. I will check the comments after um, this video. It's been a little tricky just doing that uh, here right now. So I will get back to you with that. I'll post the um, the event. I am doing some one-on-one -on -one sessions here in Cairns uh, over the weekend and um, a couple of days next week. Yeah. So if you feel free, feel free to connect people with me, if that resonates. Um, enjoy this beautiful scenery. <laughs> it's been a beautiful time here in Cairns. My partner and I have really enjoyed this environment. Um, so I hope you feel the energy of this place and enjoy that too. Let it settle you, let it hold you in good stead while uh, you go through your own uh, revolutionary change. So many blessings. Um, Take care. Hope to see you tomorrow night. Bye for now.